Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for September 3rd to uh, September 9th, 2018 Tarot and Lenormand reading so <clears throat> in case uh, you're interested in a personal reading with me uh, all that you need to know is uh, my website, it is written down below in the description of this video and there you can find the full list of the services I provide as well as the pricings for them. So that set aside, <clears throat> let's see what you got now. Tarot goes first and uh, the first card for you here will show the uh, topic of your week uh, Virgos, then we do have the second card pointing to the core of the situation. Third card is about the challenges that you have to overcome here. Then is uh, the last card which is uh, the guidance that you should follow or it is advisable for you to follow. Well the guidance of the tarot. Um, so the first card this is going to be uh, the king of swords topic of the week. So this is a, a very productive career oriented reading just for what we start because the King of Swords is the one who sees the opportunity even in the minor details. Uh, if it is about your career it is likely that this week you are going to be able to strike the deal of the century should you work in the uh, in the open market. For example if you are a real estate uh, <clears throat> salesman you know you will be able to strike a very good deal. Negotiations are rather to go very uh, very much in your favor either relationship wise or career wise as well. In other words you will be able to take advantage of every single minor opening that is coming in your way in this particular week. Therefore uh, the King of Swords, uh, it's kind of like a, a asks you to be very calculative when it comes to uh, when it comes to improvement because you know we are always trying to improve and it doesn't look like having that card that the challenges are going to be quite severe because the king of swords is always a superior to those who wish him ill and the situations which are about to bring him down because the king of swords it is a uh, very uh, subtle when it comes to finding a way through. Therefore it is likely that this week uh, for you Virgo will be all about um, defining, uh, giving the, through the, the true definition um, of your situation and recognizing how to approach it um, in a, such an angle that um, you know with a little investment that you will have much to gain either regarding career or either regarding relationship. Now when it comes to a, a singularity here, so in other words you are single, you don't have um, a lover, then that card could speak that someone will have a, a purely physical interest in you, however that that physical interest could involve into something else you know it's it's not about just a random sex here but the the chemistry will be in the air in between you and that person the next card is about the core of the situation this is going to be the the ace of uh, cups so uh, <clears throat> ace of cups is about the pure emotion of satisfaction so this is going to sit behind the uh, king of swords very likely when uh, when this week um, starts uh, at Monday uh, things are going to start shifting for you because the um, Ace of Cups represents this unexpected uh, these unexpected circumstances or an enterprise happening which uh, is kind of makes your problems that you were thinking of until this very moment quite irrelevant because probably a, a solution to them will be offered to, to you like a fragile gift and that's why we do have the king of swords you know redefining your situation looking at with the new uh, found either information or a, a new found means of that these 
predicaments that you are experiencing until uh, this very moment, either career-wise or relationship-wise, suddenly lose relevance because the resolution it is so simple and it doesn't take too much effort as well. So that week will be quite thrilling for you, not to mention that as soon as you redefine your situations here, either career-wise or relationship-wise, um, a spot in your heart that was once empty will be refilled back again so all of a sudden the life will start worth living nothing will look the same when you see the life again through that overflowing joy then the next card uh, is the challenges or what will be difficult for you the negativity in the reading this is the uh, chariot card when the chariot falls uh, it does speaks for a couple of things one of the things is the most um, conventional way to read the card which speaks for heroic efforts you know going against all odds etc etc so the situation itself uh, it doesn't look like that is going to be like this I just said you know that a, a newfound meanings or a newfound information will give you the easy way out so we're not talking here about a, a heroic effort that you have to put behind your undertaking so you can eventually push it through. The chariot here represents manifest itself in the other way, which is um, either a preparation, you know, to make the jump forward so you may not feel yourself prepared enough, you know, to make that big step to capitalize on those new means that are coming in your way. Or it could also represent the very fast push forward. So it kind of goes in the both direction. Uh, in a very fast, uh, fast push forward, in other words, uh, you know, breaking with the past way too, uh, way too hasty, in a sense of that you still have what to do and uh, what to, f to finalize, to complete into your current, uh, current enterprises that you are entering with in this um, in this particular week so how you can overcome um, <clears throat> the chariot card here is uh, that you need to be resigned about your situation in a sense that you need to make sure that there is nothing more to be done for the matter either regarding career wise or either regarding relationship wise and then you capitalize on these new means that you are about to that you are about to have that will be gifted to you either from the universe or from another person now the uh, ace of cups as many people says that it is love this is emotional satisfaction the most pure version of it of love i mean and that is the love for life it could be as well from another person, you know, it comes in a many different gazes. But the love for life, it is because, as I said, all of a sudden your life will start worth living again. And um, then we do have the Guidance card, which is the Six of Cups. And guidance-wise, this card points that you uh, have to attend into those kind of undertakings and enterprises which you like and you should not involve yourself into those which you kind of find very annoying to do and that is easier said than done because you may say well of course i'm gonna do what i like to do you know but yeah but sometimes you know you wake up in the morning and you don't want to go to work but you still go there you, you're still going there right <laughs> so uh i'm not talking about such of a um of a drastic actions here job etc etc i'm talking about hobbies you know um <clears throat> activities into your social circle for example if someone calls you and asks you to go out with them on a cup of uh, of coffee or a glass of beer and you don't really feel like it you shouldn't be biased um, about their uh, expectations for you and you shouldn't feel bad if you deny i mean you you, you need to learn to say no to people, you know, for a uh, for a service of your own uh, personal happiness. The very least, this card points that you need to focus on the small things in life because happiness starts from there, from the small things. Uh, if you don't learn to enjoy the uh, the ordinary daily uh, uh, blessings on a daily basis then how you will be able to recognize when the grand happiness comes in your way 
So that was the uh, the tarot reading for you, Virgo, and let's see what the Lenormand has to say. So, the first card is the path, which speaks for a choice or for a multiple way. You can choose one of those ways. Of the tree that either sits for health or it sits for a longevity. And the last we do have the letter, which in that case sits either for a notification or for a document. So, I do believe that the event that you should either avoid or look forward to is a, a contract that can be negotiated, which is going to be um, a long-lasting one. So, that could be a proposition for your job and you can negotiate the, um, the salary. You know, it could be a marriage proposal, but it's going to have certain strings behind it, etc., etc. Uh, but it could have a, a very simple explanation as well that could be a letter for regarding someone's health which is going to concern you all right and you have to make a choice about it hopefully not your health not not your health though so that being said Virgo this was your um, weekly tarot reading for September 3rd to September 9th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again should you want a personal reading uh, all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video and uh, rat signing out now see you next time bye